What's going on everyone? My name is Burke, Coach Nuno Patrick, bringing you the finals for the ISL Season 4 against Xavier and the Dallas Victory Stars. I'm pretty nervous because, you know, it's the finals. I want to win. I would love to win. Uh, but, you know, this is going to be a very difficult battle. I know going into it. But anyway, if you watch my team analysis, you know what I'm bringing. I am bringing uh, my Life Orb, Deoxys Speed, my White Herb, Torn Eye. I wanted to say Torn T for a second. Uh, which wouldn't make much sense to bring a torn eye with uh I guess it might, you know, you could run act you could run pretty much the same stuff, but that's beside the point. Uh Assault of Selectivire, uh my Calm Mind, Aromatisse, Mixed Defense Ferrothorn, and my Mega Blastoise. So let's accept the battle and see what he's bringing. So he's bringing and let's say good luck, have fun. Alright, so he's bringing uh, a relatively... He's bringing relatively the same stuff as last time, except he does have the Latias. He still doesn't have the Mega Absol, so... Uh, that, that's kind of nice for me. But he's bringing Sock, the Vaporeon... And he, last time he brought a Scarf Galvantula, I don't think he's bringing it this time. I think he's just gonna bring Sticky Webs, because... Like, I think that's the more reliable way to... Well, you know, Scarfer, Fast Scarfer is, you know, a good way to deal with Deoxys, but... You got Sticky Webs, so I expect Sticky Webs and the Galvantula. Galvantula. He doesn't bring the Diggers B, uh, so he doesn't have a Volt Switch immunity. Which is really nice. Really, really nice. And what I can do is his leads are either going to be... He also doesn't have a rocker. So I can... He doesn't have Arcanine either. So I think I can leave with Ferrothorn and set up the rocks, which will be really nice to pressure a lot of his team. He's probably going to set up the Sticky Webs, which is kind of unavoidable, uh, until I can get in my Blastoise on the Vaporeon and then spin him away. But I think I'm just going to lead off my Ferrothorn. Uh, as he decides to lead with the Tangrowth. I don't know what he was expecting me to lead with. Maybe this. Uh, maybe this. I should be able to take anything, seeing as he doesn't have, like, Arcanine. Uh, granted, I won't be able... To... Mm, let's see. We're gonna see what kind of set this is, but... I'm... I think I'm okay with him popping my... My, uh... That thing, first turn, the, the Aka Berry, I think I'm okay with him popping it. Because even if he's like modest life orb with Tin Power Fire, it, it's not going to do more than half. I'm just going to set up my rocks. As he does decide to go for the Tin Power Fire, it does pop the Aka Berry. He does do quite a bit, quite, quite a bit. Uh, which, but it, it, it's it's definitely not, you know... Definitely not Life Orb, um, obviously. So, he could go for... He might go for Knockoff, which... He also doesn't have a switch in for my... My Tornadus, so that's kind of nice. And Ferrothorn, really, it's just here to set up hazards. I don't really need it too much to wall things, because this is kind of help deal with Mega Absol if it came. Help deal with Diggersby if it came. Uh, but none of those things came. I can take another uh, HP Fire. And I can set up a layer of spikes. He might predict me to switch out at this point. And I don't have any information on what this set is. But I'm just going to set up a layer of spikes. He, go for the, he goes for the Giga Drain expecting me to switch out. And I set up a layer of spikes. So that's really nice. Really, really nice. And... Uh, Hmm. How much would, if this is like, a, obviously this is not offensive, because if it's like, are you defensive, uh, a hidden power fire, it's got some, it's got some offense, uh, well that's bold, well no, bold doesn't decrease special attack, it's got some special attack investment, it might be, it looks like it might just be max special attack. Uh, 
The Naked Drain did 7.1. Yeah, this is max special attack. Probably like max HP. Uh, maybe Assault Vest. Probably Assault Vest. Knowing it's max special attack, it, it, I could see it being Assault Vest. Hidden Power Fire at this point shouldn't kill, even without the Aka Berry. 52.5 to 62.5. So it won't kill, which is nice. I could go out into my Deoxys, predicting the uh, predicting the next hidden power fire. I could go out into my Tornadus. I think I can make the play going out of my Tornadus. I don't think he's going to go for a knockoff. I don't think he, I think he's gonna try to go for another hidden power fire. I'm gonna go into my tornadus as he decides to go for a hidden power fire. That is perfectly fine with me. And I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. I wanna see what first I wanna see what item it has. He doesn't see an, an item on my on me. You know, it could be life orb, I could be whatever. But I wanna go for the U-turn. I wanna force this thing out. He's not gonna bring in like what would he bring in on this? Probably the Vaporeon? Probably the Vaporeon. So, I know this has uh, HP Fire and Giga Drain, and I've gotten up a layer of rocks, a layer of spikes. So, we're looking pretty good. If he goes out into his Latias, I am 100% going out into. My Deoxys speed and just clicking Ice Beam. I mean, I, I need to prevent the hazards from, you know, being defogged away. Granted, on anything, like, on the Vaporeon, I can get them back up. On the, probably the Galvantula, I can get a hit, you know, one layer, my rocks back up in case he defogs them away. But this is nice, really nice to have some hazards on the field already. Let him over predict a little bit. And he's really thinking about his move, probably what he's going to switch into. He's not going to get any information about what item I am, uh, which is really nice. Because he, he might think, well, he might be extra belt, he might be, he won't see life or maybe he's Scarf. Because I've run Scarf Torn in the past. It's actually a good set. Um, he, he'll know I'm not an item, you know, a, a boosting item. But I think this White Herb set. I'm never really gonna go <laughs> for superpower, which is like really unfortunate because I was gonna like on the app, so I can go for superpower. I can uh, if this thing has knockoff, I'd be fine with switching it on a knockoff. But at some point, like I gotta threaten this thing out again, or if something's low, go for the superpower, uh, pop the white herb, because he doesn't have a switch into the the acrobatics. He really doesn't. And, uh, yeah. So he's taking a while. Think about what he wants to go into. Alright, so we get the U-turn off, uh, I want to just calc that. This is weird, so if he's... Looks like he's 
somewhere around like max HP, max special attack. That looks like the set. Uh, I don't do too much. Um, he's got to be bold. So he's got to have like a little bit of defense investment. Probably around max HP. Uh, what I can do is I can pivot back into my Ferrothorn. As long as he's gonna go for maybe knock off, maybe knock off. Uh, even do I have my item? Yeah, I do have my item. If I get rid of the item, I do a ton of damage to this thing. I don't want him to knock off my assault vest. I don't want to knock off. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into that. I don't think he's going for a grass type move. How much will? If he's not Assault Vest, I just take it out with Ice Beam. I'm gonna go into my Blastoise. I know he's, that he's gonna bait in the, uh... He does get the poison, unfortunately. That's a little bit unfortunate. This is gonna bait in the Vaporeon. I 100% know it is. But he doesn't seem to want to switch out with this thing. Dark Pulse also does a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But I don't want to really risk this just yet, because in case you know, the, the Galvantula decides to come in. Uh, but then I can go into my Aromatisse on a possible Scald. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. I'm gonna Mega just go for the Ice Beam. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna screw around. I've already been making some predictions, letting him over predict a little bit. Maybe he overpredicts again. I don't think so, just because I don't think he'd want to risk the Tangrowth. That was kind of a ballsy play. He might be Koba Berry. You know, let's not rule out the fact that he might be Koba Berry. Uh, but that did. Let's just see. Blastoise, pre Mega. Uh, I think I've got 105 special defense. Am I really rash? Why would I be a rash nature? Why am I a rash nature? So unfortunately, uh, my Blastoise goes down, and that's actually due to... Uh, the reason that did so much is because apparently in my team builder, and I didn't notice when I was going through it, my Blastoise is actually Rash Nature, which meant it was minus special defense, which is very, very, very unfortunate for me. Very unfortunate. I can go out into my Deoxys and just go for the Psycho Boost. He doesn't have a, a great switch in. Uh, knock off to my Deoxys. Psycho Boost kills. Uh, knock Off doesn't kill. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Deoxys Speed. It, I, I wanted this kind of be a cleaner, but at the same time, you know, I can go for Psycho Boost. And he doesn't have the best switch in. Granted, now if, he's, if he is Sticky Webs, uh, Steve was are really going to be a problem, but it looks like I'm going to need uh, what's its what's its face aromatisse to really come through, uh, or I can't let him set up uh, sticky webs and just try my best not to let him set up sticky webs. But all right, we're back. Uh, he switches into Vaporeon. We have a little bit of connection issues. That does so much damage. Uh, that's physically defensive, which means, uh, whew, that, that, that did a lot of fucking damage. Um, the physically, that eh, ain't physically defensive, that did too, no, that was a max roll, uh, near max roll physically defensive. Uh, what I can do is, um, Thunderbolt does 25%, minimum, at minus two. I can just go for the Thunderbolt, pick it off. Alright, Vaporeon dies, so let's go. Gonna... 
Ten growth kills my Blastoise. And then Deoxys. Speed. Kills. Uh, the, the, the Vaporeon. Alright, so the Vaporeon's gone. Which actually wasn't... It's, that's not great, because now I'm not really going to be able to set up combines. But, at the same time, he doesn't have a fairy switch in, which is kind of odd. Uh, he might try to defog away the hazards now, which is definitely something he can do. If he decides to try to, if he goes into his Latias, then I think I can set up with Aromatis. Uh, that, that's kind of my setup target. Maybe if I can get one up, then the, the Galvantula becomes a pretty good setup target. Mm. He goes out into his Tornadus, and I think at this point I can go out into my my Ferrothorn, uh, get a little bit of spikes damage. I, he might just go for a knockoff or a U-turn. In which case, if I go into my Ferrothorn, it, it'll it'll get a little a little bit of a little bit of chip damage. Uh, he's Life Orb, so L O dead. That's nice. Uh, he might go back into his Tangrowth, but the, the rocks and spikes are nice just because uh, it, 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 it is whittling down his team quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, so the Tangrowth was offensive. Uh, not really offensive, but max near max special attack. And against my Pharaoh. Thorn. And so he, at least he comes back in not at full. Uh, and knowing his life orb means that it can't take it from Deoxys speed, which means the only thing that, well, no, he could have Scarf Lottie. Scarf Lottie is a perfectly fine set. But Tangrowth comes in, but it takes the rocks and spikes, so it, it, it's back down to 40%. He's probably going to go for a Hidden Power Fire, and then how much will... I know this is Assault Vest, so how much will my Tornadus... Uh, how much will my Tornadus do while I'm still holding an item? 31 to 37. Unfortunately, not enough. Unfortunately, not enough. So, I could go out into my. I know he's Assault Vest. Let's. An item. Assault Vest. Let's go to my. I should be able to take any hit he goes for and then knock it out with a flamethrower. So, that seems like my best play. Just to. I, I, I'll show that I'm Assault Vest. But I know I can take any hit. And... Ice Punch won't kill. Flamethrower will kill. He might... He, I don't think he would go into his... I don't think he'd go into his Latias. I'm gonna go for the Flamethrower. Just because I, I, I could be packing Ice Punch, like Max Attack, Adamant, Ice Punch, I think would kill. Um... No. <laughs> well, he... Uh, well, with that damage, he sees I'm Assault Vest, so... If I could bluff that I was in Assault Vest, uh... Max Attack Adamant... Uh, well, Max Attack, you know, Life Orb would kill. But I killed the Tangrowth, so... Uh, Electivire... Kills Tangrowth, which is fantastic for me. Uh, because with the Tangrowth gone... That doesn't really give me much. Um, it was a big nuisance, and I actually didn't really have a good switch in for Grass, aside from Ferrothorn, which had the Aquaberry popped already. So, he's probably... I don't know what he's going to go into. Yeah. He does go out into Latias. 
I think he sees this as his chance to get rid of the hazards. If it's offensive, let's say, uh, I can take any hit from Max Attack, Timid, Life Orb, Latias. Uh, I can. And Ice Punch does a really good amount to offensive Latias. I, I feel like he's just gonna go for the Defog. Like, I feel like that's his play. Just go for the Defog. Um, okay, so do I need Tornadus? What, is, what does Tornadus prevent? Uh, I mean, do I need, not Tornadus, do I need Electivire? Well, it's a, it's an, it's an LO Tornadus T. So with the Life Orb on the Tornadus, you know, that, uh, oh wait, that, that, that is not my set. Oh, I'm like, why does that do so much damage? Uh, yeah. Uh, Electivire. Electivire. Uh, there we go. So Ice Punch does like 44%. It is a 2 co, and I do have a chance to freeze to an offense. This, this is offensive Latias with no HP investment, which if it's offensive, then it's not going to have much just because, uh, you know, the whole thing about having a speed creep in Infernate. So, you know, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. I do have speed, actually. It is defensive with Calm Mind. Uh, I'm not too, too worried about that because, uh, well, I do have speed. I'm just going to keep going for Ice Punch because as long as I keep it low, I've got a Tornadus with Knock Off and uh, this Latias looks to have quite a bit of HP investment. So if it's just max HP, it looks like max HP, max defense. It, that's what it looks like. So how, what, what do I need to keep it for Tornadus to kill with knockoff? I need to keep it below half, which is the goal, which is the dream to keep it below half. So I know he's not at all, it's just max HP, max defense. Um, how about my Aromatis? Uh, I lose that 1v1 because uh, his side shot gets more powerful against me, whereas my Moonblast doesn't. So, hmm. I'm gonna just keep going for the Ice Punch. Uh, he, he, He's risking not only the freeze, uh, but a crit. And this is what happens when you play defensively like this. I know I'm I'm planning on play playing defensively like that, but you know. Hmm. And we make this what's it called? Leftovers. Where it's leftovers. Defensive calm mind life. But if it has Psy Shock, then let's see. If he's got like dragon pull like he's at plus two special attack. He can't kill me. He might not. He's got root. He's got recover. Adios. Let me recover. Obviously, uh, calm mind. We're gonna test if his HP fire, because I can still take a hit at this point with my Ferrothorn. Um, I'm gonna go on my Ferrothorn. If I can get a leaf seed on, that'll be really nice. He might not have HP fire because like if he has Dragon Pulse HP fire, then or Psy Shock HP fire, does that really hit everything on my team? Is that really a good set for him to run? We're gonna see. He goes for the Psy Shock. 
Uh, so yes, Sasha. We're gonna go for the Leaf Seed. Get some seeds on this thing. So he's got Psy Shock. And I can always boost up alongside it with my Deoxys because at plus two uh, it, from an uninvested, it's still not gonna do. Where's my Deoxys beat set? Uh, if he's got the Draco Media, that's going to kill. Um, he goes for another Calm Mind. And we're just gonna we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get a little bit of seeds off. And again, the the whole point is uh, the Feather Thorn's probably the least useless, at least useless, least useful. Uh, so the whole point is just to keep it down in uh... Feather Thorn. How much will I do with the Jar Ball? I still do pretty good damage. It's got Shadow Ball. Doesn't kill. I go for the Jarrow Ball. I'm gonna bring it just below half. And, uh. He's probably gonna go for. I mean, I can see him going for the recover. He's got. Okay, so Psy Shock, Shadow Ball. That makes sense. No dragon coverage, uh, which makes sense. Um, he's just out of range for Tornadus killing it. Just out of range. So with the Shadow Ball, I can't I can't boost up alongside of it because it'll kill me. Um, can he kill my Tornadus at this point? Tornadus. Uh, Saisha. Yeah, I mean, Psy Shock does a lot of damage. Hmm. Psy Shock will do uh, a little more than half. Yeah, it does more than half. And Bless is 23%. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Jarl Ball in case he... Yeah, I just gotta kinda sack this off. Unfortunately, he's, he's like, just out of range. For, uh, a knockoff killing it. I'm gonna go for a U-turn into my Electivire. I don't think it'll live the Psy Shock. Let's see. And go back out into. Mm, see, this is this is dangerous because that Galvantula is scarfed. At this point, I might be able to lose if I lose my Electivire. But the thing is, I I keep it kind of low. Whereas if I lose my Tornadus, I can still set up with Aromatisse. And he's kind of got to kill me. Well, no, he... Mm. He doesn't know what item I have, though. He knows that I'm not Life Orb and not Banned, but I could be Expert Belt, uh, which would kill if I have Expert Belt. Yeah. Hmm. This is a tricky one. I don't want Scarf Galvantula to kill to, to beat me. Uh, Tornadus is probably looking like my most expendable member at this point. Uh, so I'm gonna go on my Tornadus. If he decides to try to kill me, what I can do is I can. I, I kind of gotta go for the knockoff and hope he attacks. Uh, because if not. This isn't looking good. I'm gonna go for the knockoff. I mean, I kind of have to at this point. Granny's gonna be put. Well, no, no, no. So if he if he recovers, I put him at a point low enough where then the next subsequent U turn will kill. Uh, and if he doesn't attack, then I go into my Electivire and I kill. So it's not going to sweep me, but he goes on to Sock. 
and we're going to see what set this is. So we knock off its life orb, and I think... I think even with the item, acrobatics still kills. Uh, uh, what, let's put on a... Yeah, it should still kill at this point. As it does. I get a crit. The crit didn't matter. So let me write that down. Latias kills. Um, Latias kills the... Uh, Ferrothorn, that's what it was. Okay. And Tornadus T kills Sock. Alright, so what's my least use? It's basically a sack off game. I don't want to sack. Uh, I said Tornadus is still probably my least useful, but I might not be able to. Without Tornadus, how much will a. Opposing Tornadus, an offensive uh, OU Life Orb attacker. Uh, well, if he's physical, knockoff doesn't kill. Hurricane has a chance. Hurricane will kill. The 70% chance to kill because, you know, it's got hit. Uh, whereas, I don't kill with anything. But do I really have a switch into this thing? Not really. Not really. He might expect me to switch out. He could go for knockoff. But if he goes for knockoff, that's like the best case scenario for me, because then acrobatics will do a hell of a lot of damage to him. Uh, in fact, kill him. I'm going to bank on him going for knockoff, and I'm going to go for acrobatics. He goes for hurricane and just takes me out. That's unfortunate. Uh, and so Torn Eye... No, this is Torn Eye. Tornadus T kills... Uh, torn Eye. Tornadus kills Tornadus. And I can just go out into my Deoxys, because Deoxys will kill with a uh, with an Ice Beam. 110% with an Ice Beam. And he doesn't have a switch in for this. So that dies. He can't switch in the Latias, so he's got to he's gotta go into Galvantula. And this thing should be Scarfed. Should be. Uh, but I can go out into my... Well, that's ah, too late. I was gonna... Yeah, this thing is... Looks like it's scarfed. And I think Flamethrower should take this out. It does. And Eladios comes back in on rocks, and I should be able to kill it. Uh, I, I won't be able to kill it with a... Uh, I'm, a, I'm switching directly on my Romatisse, uh, just because I can Calm Mind up alongside it and get special attack drops with the, uh, with the Moonblast. So he's going to go for Calm Mind, I'm going to go for Calm Mind. And this is the final showdown. Dee -dee -dee -dee. He's not at all... I think this is going to do about 40%. We're going to go for Moonblast. We can get some special attack drops, which would be nice. Uh, hopefully we don't lose to this. Because now Tornadus is gone. So I'm going to, if, if I can get this really low as he kills me, then, you know, we're all good. But, you know, it is what it is. So Moonblast, it does a, a, a decent chunk of damage. Uh, and he, it looks like he's just going to keep Calm Mining up, so I guess I'm just going to keep Calm Mining up. Um, we might lose this. We definitely might lose this because just unfortunately the, the little, little bit of rocks damage didn't quite get it in range to die. And I think Latias, even if you're at Aromatis, my witch doctor set, uh, you've got Saish. It doesn't actually kill. Uh, plus six Saishai. And when I'm at plus six, plus six, I need 45%. Um, 
I mean, we're just both gonna calm mind up. It looks like. Uh, now, if I can get a little lucky with the special attack drops, I can still possibly win this one. Or if I get a crit, <laughs> I can win this. Granted, if he gets a crit, he also wins this one. So this is not quite how I imagined this would come down to, but this is either way. Uh, I kind of, you know, kind of wish I was max <laughs> max attack electivire, but you know, it happens. If he goes for Psy Shock now, that won't kill. It does do over half, unfortunately. Uh, which I think puts me in range to die. So it looks like, because of that, I uh, I lose. Yep. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I mean, unless I get a crit. Unless I get a crit. Uh, but Or freeze. I do get a crit here. No freeze. Um... So, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, I just gotta go for the Ice Beam. Hope it does enough! It doesn't! I get the- Oh no. Okay, he fought out. <sighs> Holy crap. GG. God damn, that was a good match. Unfortunately, we lose. 1-0 in the finals, so we've been dethroned. That freeze right at the end, holy shit, that was very close. Um, if he didn't unthought, I, 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 I think I won. Uh, un unless he thought out the next turn, in which case I still lost, but... Whew, alright, physically defensive Latias. Uh, I thought I had enough for it, apparently I didn't have enough. Just raw physical offense, probably shouldn't have sacked off the Tornado's Eye. Uh, lot, I, I should have, I should have realized, like... That was kind of the problem in playing. I was like, Aromatease. I even said in playing that Aromatease is my, you know, win condition on paper, but it doesn't have to be my win condition in the battle. And it, that just kind of stayed in my head. And I let it be the win condition, or I tried to force it to be the win condition, even though the Tornadus was much more important because if you look at the, if I had it around, I might have been able to win that. But, you know, it happens. That was such a great battle. I mean, I, I, you can't have asked for a better uh, finals battle. So unfortunately, we do come in second place this season, not first place. Uh, we have been dethroned. But that's fine. Uh, it was a great season. I went, uh, including the playoffs, I went 10 and 3 with plus 24. So that, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, very, 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 very good game. Very good game. Uh, man, that, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of rambling at this, at this point. Like I always do in my videos. They're just kind of me repeating myself. Goddamn. Really good battle, Xavier. Congratulations on winning. And, uh, Hopefully next season we can return with a vengeance because uh, I, I want to, you know, I'm going to try to reclaim my title. Uh, we'll see though. But anyway, oh, I can't, I still can't believe that freeze. That was, I was like, eh, if I get a crit or a freeze, I can still win. But jeez, uh, I'm going to stop rambling. That's all I got for today. My name is Bird, Coach Nunga Patrats. I'll see y'all next time. So I am not actually getting on out of here just yet. I have a few things to say after this. Uh, the first thing is I want to apologize for how late this video is. I've been under a lot of stress lately and it's left me pretty unmotivated to get e videos edited and I've been just kind of sitting on this for a few days trying to get it edited. I would look at like Photoshop and just be like, I don't want to do this. And I don't like feeling like that, but I knew I wanted to get the battle out. And so it's already been late enough and I finally worked up the motivation to just be like, all right, let's just sit down get this damn thing edited and get it up on the channel. So here it is, finally, it's Wednesday, and it's finally up. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's just, it's just a lot of stuff going on. And another thing I want to talk about is a postseason analysis. I'm going to try to do one, but with how long it took me to get out a out the finals battle and how unmotivated it just kind of felt to edit it, it's, I'm not probably going to feel up to getting graphics done and then recording and editing a postseason analysis, I'm going to try. And that is the key word right there. I'm going to try, but I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to. Just, I'm going to look at it and be like, I don't want to do this. So we'll see. At the very least, it's not going to be this week and it's, it may not be next week either, but we'll see. And last thing I just wanted to say is about some upcoming content on the channel. I don't know what it is, 
And the reason for that is, this is pretty much all I've been uploading. I know I try to do the uh, Wi-Fi battles, and I really want to do them, but at the same time, again, it's like I look at editing those videos and I'm just like, oh. But I'm going to try to bring more Wi-Fi battles to the channel. I know I've only done one, and I, I really, I really enjoy doing it. So, I, I know I haven't, I, I said I was going to make that a regular thing on the channel. I haven't been able to just because I just haven't. <laughs> just recording in general is just finding kind of blah right now. Uh, not because I don't like it, just because, again, stress, motivation, trying to get all that done. Uh, just as well, I, I'm i thinking about maybe recording a few showdown things. I have been laddering on the UU Suspect test, and I'm like this close to getting Rex. I might record a session with that. I might not. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not really... I haven't recorded showdown in a long time. When I say showdown, I mean like showdown laddering, not you know, league battles on Showdown, because that's all I do. Uh, and that's like all the ch content I put on my channels recently, uh, for a long time. So I, I might think about that, but I, I wouldn't expect that. And the last thing is, I did join another league, uh, the UAL, they are a, uh, it's an app, it's a, it stands for the Universal Analyst League, it was a league started by a few of the analysts in the GBA, I didn't join for their season one, but I did join for their season two, I thought I was going to take a break, but then, you know, I just, they said, hey, we got some open spots, want to join, and I said, yeah, okay, fine, I'll do it, <laughs> so I am joining the league, uh, their draft hasn't happened yet, it happens next week. Uh, I might upload that, I might not, it depends on how I feel about it. Uh, if I do decide to upload, it's not going to be live comms, it's all just going to be post comms, uh, you know, with some simple graphics. Nothing really too big, just because I don't really, I, I, you know, I'm not really looking to put, like, tons of effort into the editing to it. So, I might upload it, I might not, we'll see. But that that's about it. Hopefully there will be more content coming to the channel, especially because this is the only thing I've been uploading these, uh, you know, my league every week. So we'll see. Um, I don't want my channel to be dead, and I know when Sun and Moon comes out, there will be more content on the channel. I know that for a fact because when Sun and Moon does come out, I do plan on doing Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles, 100%. And I do think I'm going to try to ladder on Sun and Moon, whatever tier, you know, I don't know because it's going to be going to be an interesting, interesting metagame, so I'm really looking forward to that. I guess part of the the unmotivational part of it is, you know, it's it's coming to the end of the XY Oris era, and it's just like, you need something fresh. But there will, I hopefully will have stuff coming to the channel, I'm not just going to leave it dead. Uh, but I think I've rambled on long enough for this. That's all I got for today. My name is Burke, and I'll see y'all next time.